And let's tell you now in Capital News that the Ministry of Public Works has indicated that Guyanese passengers who requested refunds from Red Jet will have to wait a little longer. The Ghana government had collected a 200,000 US dollar bond from Red Jet when the carrier started its operations. That's the money the government intends to tap into to pay back over 2,000 passengers who were affected when Red Jet halted its operations and shut down earlier this year, even as it was promoting expansions. In a release from the government, a Ministry of Works official was quoted as saying that there is no more verification process on the way, looking at the 850 requests which represent over 2,000 passengers. Once that process is completed, the Ministry is expected to begin issuing payments. The total cost could be just over 175,000 US dollars. That would leave the ministry with 25,000 US dollars in hand. It's unclear whether that change will be handed back to Redjet or used to pay off other debts in Guyana. The Ministry of Works overlooks the operations of the Cherry Jagan Airport and Redjet left the friendly skies with several bills behind at the airport for landing and other fees. When Redjet launched its operations in 2011 with a non-stop service between Guyana and Barbados, it was hailed by the government and the government promoted the airline heavily pointing to the impact it would have on fares across the region. It was less than a year later that the red jet skies became blue and the company folded, ending its operations in the Caribbean and going bankrupt.